Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. I've got a little public service announcement for you today. Radio Master just announced on their Facebook page that there's a PCB design issue with the Radio Master Micro and Nano. This issue does not affect the Ranger, so if you have a Ranger, this does not apply to you. For those of you who have a Micro or a Nano, the public service announcement basically says do not plug in external power to the XT30. There's a PCB defect on this board that can cause damage to a radio main board. Radio Master says it's okay to use the pins on the back to power the module, and I can attest to the fact that that is okay on the Ranger Micro because I've been flying with this unit in production now for a couple of weeks and I haven't had any issues. The power related issue only has to do with the XT30 connector. You can use the USB to flash your firmware and you can use the pins on the back to power the module from the radio. Just do not apply power to the XT30 port. We'll take a look at the announcement Radio Master made on their Facebook page. It says there's a PSA regarding our Radio Master Ranger and Micro Express LRS modules. Dear customers, we regret to inform you that a design flaw in the XT30 power in input of the Ranger Micro and Nano has slipped past our R&D team. Please do not use the XT30 input on your Nano or Micro. You can continue to use the module powered by your radio only. It is completely safe to do so. If you've already connected an XT30 of your Micro or Nano to your radio, please contact them via this URL. I'll make sure to provide that in the description so you have it. Further, Radio Master says after the Chinese New Year holiday is over, they will update the design of the PCB of the Micro and Nano, and they will begin shipping replacements if you ordered from Radio Master Direct. They will send the PCB replacement to you automatically. If you order through a retailer, they'll ask you to contact the retailer to arrange your replacement PCB. For those of you who've never seen it before, don't worry about replacing these. For those of us who were involved with Express LRS from the early days, when we bought Express LRS, we actually only got the PCB and we had to insert them into a project box on our own. Radio Master says you'll only need a screwdriver to make the replacement. You'll take out a couple of screws, take the cover off, put the new PCB in, and you'll be all set. So don't worry about that. It's a fairly trivial replacement. Radio Master says they will announce on this page when replacement PCBs are being sent. I'll keep an eye on this and monitor the situation and let you know when they're out there. I'll probably also do a replacement video for you as well. After the holiday is over and factories are back online, they'll have a better idea of the ETA for when those replacements will be sent. So it is an unfortunate situation that there's a design defect, but I do have to commend Radio Master for taking ownership and providing a remediation plan to everybody who bought a micro or a nano. I can also tell you based on firsthand experience, there's no problem flying with this module on the back of your radio. I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. Just don't use that XT30 connector. That's all I've got for today. Hope you enjoyed the content. Subscribe and go fly something. Take it easy.